All right, y'all, we are gonna do a clean and cook spade fish or angel fish, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so I got several of these, different shapes, sizes, well, same shape, but different sizes. I never clean one of these and I don't think I've eaten one. I hear they're pretty good. They're one of those fish that are labeled as trash fish, but uh, actually I heard they're pretty good. So we'll see. So I'm just gonna start off by this head and uh, work my way down the back bone. I don't have my knife sharpener. I don't know what happened to it. So we're gonna have to make do. I'm just gonna trace them out. Um, and then we're just gonna feel the backbone with the knife, of course, if I can get a thumb in here. Always get your thumb in first to get, you know, get things ready to go. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna trace them out. Cat, I'm gonna give you some fish, I promise. Cut him. I think he's got a rib cage a little bit. Yeah. He sure does. A little soft, a little soft. Not not super soft, but a little soft. Then I'm just gonna cut him out like that. And uh, we got ourselves a uh, nice perch fillet. <laughs> now can I get in here like this? Can I go? Can I, can I do it the old-fashioned way? Well, this is a test, y'all. This is a smaller one too. So this is just a. Tesla, so I'm trying to see here. Got a long enough knife, I'm sure you could do it. Look at that. That's quicker. I'll cut all that out, of course, but that's quicker. And there you go. A nice... Is that is that too bright? Let me turn that flashlight off. That might be too bright. There we go. Stinky. You got a stinky, stinky belly. So, I'm just going to cut the rib cage like this. Cut it down like that, and then come back this way and take it off the skin. So, and as you can see, he has a bloodline. You can see that thick bloodline in there? I left it on. One little bitty layer. So that's all your dark meat, your strong stuff. So I left it on there. And we got ourselves a nice clean looking filet. Take this little side fin piece bone off. And uh, you know, you can do this. Some people don't like any of the dark meat. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. So you can cut on either side, kind of make a line that you're gonna pull off like that. And uh, look at that, it comes right out. And we're gonna give the kitty some. Kitty, you want some fish? Here. Hey, here you go. Wrong spot. All right, she got some fishies. There we go. Grab ourselves a bowl. Oh, drop some cups out of the out of the uh, cabinet. Did you eat it? All right, these bones are coming out right here, and then I'm just taking it off the skin like a bluegill or something, man. Very nice looking meat so far. I, I left. I left a layer on a little bit. Take that off. See, I don't, I don't, I don't really care for that. That's kind of fatty. I'm going for prime choice here. Going for the, uh, the best flavor I can get off of. Them. And there's a little piece of bone right there. I forgot to show you all the biggest one. I was going to, and I forgot. But here we go. I'll turn the camera back on just to show y'all. What a, what a decent size one can give you. Well, might have to do him this way because he's a little wide. Dang, what is that? I'm hitting something hard as a rock. Trace him, trace him, trace him. Ride the bones, baby, ride the bones. Ride the backbone with your knife. Right, that's looking like a proper fillet. I'll just peel this over the rib cage. Look at that. Peel it. And uh, man, they're stinky little guys. Trying not to pierce that belly. 
Where is this? Where does it end? There we go. All right. Probably the best fillet of the day. All right. All right. We got our Zatarans fish fry. I threw some Tony's in there and some cayenne pepper. Just, you know, you know, a little, little extra flavor because it's kind of bland. And mixing it up. We got our fish right here. Um, these are white trout on top. I made sure I left the triggers. Or not trigger fish. I wish it was trigger fish. The spade fish on the bottom. I know exactly what they look like. See that? There's your spade fish. And we're going to throw them in the cornmeal. And we're going to fry them up. And we're going to fry them up next to... Not really. We're not frying him. I'm going to throw him in the oven. I caught him today off the bank while I was working. Nice little flounder. We scaled them we gutted them and we whatever that's called scoring them i don't know but yeah it's gonna be delicious all right we got it fried up not much of a video here um you know frying fish is really not hard you want it to get crispy and that's crispy that is just how you want it maybe not maybe you like it flaccid and floppy i don't know but what I do know is it's going to be good, unless it has some magical spade fish fishiness of diabolical proportions. So we'll see in a minute. See these here, except for that one. These two are white trout. Actually, yeah. And the spade fish are these big flat ones. So there's a spade fish. There's a piece of a spade fish right there. And uh, yes, sir. We're going to do it. We'll be back. Check them out. Let me, let me go ahead and put on a little flash for you so you can get the glistening effect of the fishies. And here is the spade fish that I'm going to be eating right there. It looks like a happy... Uh-oh. It looks like a whale. See the mouth and the head? And there's a, maybe a shark. A happy shark. Look. Oh, man. Fingers burning. I'll be back. Okay, we got ourselves the spade fish. And we got a piece of white trout to compare it to. Let's see what these are about. All right. Can't really see it. Terrible lighting in here, and I apologize for that. But it's got a unique texture. It's like. I don't know. It's really good. It has no fishiness at all. It's got a weird texture. Like, not bad. Just different. It's like it kind of holds up as you're chewing it. Maybe I fried it a little too long. Because they are thinner fillet. So, there's your white trout. Hmm. Boy, you can't see me. But the white trout is just like much softer, easier to eat fish. Now you can see me a little bit. Easier to eat. And I'm just eating it on a paper towel because I'm worried about my flounder in the oven. But yeah, now you can probably see a little better. There it is. Really good. Nothing wrong with that. A little dark part there. Let's bite into that and see what that's about. Don't chew your hair. It's not nice. Dude, this is really good fish. No lie. This is really, really good. Really good. Mm. It's fried. You know, fried fish is always good. Some better than others, but nothing wrong with a spade fish. If you catch any... Mississippi, no limit, no no rules on them. You can keep as many as you want. I'd recommend to keep something at least as big as your hand, maybe a little bigger. They're kind of flat, flays a little thin, but they're really good. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all.